Juno is not the happiest right now because she went into heat yesterday. But we did get out of the house for a little bit. We went to Lowe's and Home Depot, did some training, and then I also picked up some material to start a new project. So I am going to attempt to make new crate pads for the car crates. Um, if you've watched my other crate or rough land videos mainly, this is the crate pad I have in both of the car crates right now. It's a Mud River crate pad. I don't hate these, but I also don't love them. I wish they were a bit more waterproof. I wish they were a little bit easier to clean. We tend to do a lot of stuff with like in the water. You can see they're just dirty and they don't clean well. I've tried to wash them before and it just, it doesn't work super great. So I picked up this anti-fatigue mat from Home Depot. It should be big enough, or it is big enough to do two of them. I'm gonna cut out the size I need. But it is like a foam, like a thick foam. I wish I could have found something with holes, but the only things with holes were like a hard rubber that would have just been really uncomfortable for her to lay on in the crate. So I opted for this. I would have really loved those little like puzzle piece gym mats but the ones with the holes but the only places I found that sold them were in the UK and Australia so that just wasn't gonna work <laughs> so today's project is really just to cut these down to size so I'm gonna do that so Juno's crate is the large rough land so the floor size on that is 33 by 17 and a half so that's the size we're going to cut. fit it in the car and lengthwise it was really good but widthwise it was just a tiny bit too long or too wide excuse me so now I need to cut a little bit more off of here which should be interesting because it wasn't super easy to cut with just like regular old scissors a box cutter would probably work way better for this, but I don't know if I have one of those, so scissors it is. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go try this again. I don't wanna cut the second one until I know for sure that this is gonna work. So I'm gonna go try this one in the crate. Okay, so this is a little difficult because the car's in the garage so the lighting is not great. I'm using like the flashlight on my phone right now. But I am very happy with it. It fits like perfectly. So I'm gonna take this one out and measure this one so that I can cut the next one 
exactly right the first time instead of having to cut more off like I did with this one. And then I'll put that one in the truck and I'll show you what it looks like in the truck because that one you'll be able to see a little bit better since the truck's in the driveway. So this is the only mat they had at Home Depot and if you can see it's kind of tore up a little bit right here. So I'm going to cut this one on this corner like I did with the other side. That way I can avoid that little mess up there. And then this one ended up being like 17 and a quarter instead of 17 and a half. So when it was cut 17 and a half, it was a little bit too wide for the crate. So it's like 17 and a quarter is a better size for the large rough land. So I'm going to cut this one the same way, but I'm probably just going to mark it instead of measuring it because laziness. So let's do that. Okay, so here is what it looks like in the crate. It fits super nicely. It's going to be so much easier to wash it and rinse it off and it's just going to make life a lot easier. So I'm pretty happy with how these came out. And I forgot to mention that it was 20 bucks roughly for this piece of material. And I got two crate pads out of it. You could get two extra larges, I think, out of it, too. And probably even more intermediate and smalls and so on. So, definitely recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And we'll see you in the next one.